Hey everybody out there, my name is Dragnix and this is a first impressions of the new Hyrule Warriors DLC, the Majora's Mask Pack. It's at eight bucks unless if you bought the um, season pass, but it includes two new characters, Tingle and Young Link, um, some outfits for Sheik and Impa in the era of the Hero of Time, as well as Lana and the Skull Kid's clothes, sorta kinda, and also a new adventure map. Now, I wanna go into it because DLC, especially for Nintendo, has been a little bit weird in terms of content in the past. They don't usually do DLC, um, and so this is sort of a new foray for them, and so I want to take a look exactly of what they've included in here. Um, now, we've had DLC for them in the past, We've we in terms of Hyrule Warriors. We saw the Master Quest pack that had a, added a Pona, for example. You got some new costumes there, some story-based episodes for the main game in terms of a Sia's role. And then the Twilight Princess pack, which had the Mid Midnight or True Form, one new character, a new adventure mode map, um, copy rod ability, um, I think it was the Dominion rod, for example, and then new, more new costumes. So you do get two new characters in this form. But I want to first go over the adventure mode because I think that's where you're going to get your money's worth here because some of the adventure mode maps that have come out have been sort of, I don't want to see rehashes. They've, they've twisted up the formula a little bit. But in base, the ideas and the things behind them were the same things. You know, defeat X amount of enemies, you know, get to, you know, defeat these enemies, so on and so forth. In this one, they've changed up things a little bit. Now, you still have those basic concepts in, in there, the kill X enemies, kill Y enemies. But you also have a lot more three-player um, aspects in terms of three teams. Now, you also have these like, sort of race condition kind of stuff. Um, for example, you'll have where you have to kill 400 ki uh, monsters, but you'll have to kill 400 monsters before the other guy does. And that is adds a whole new level to it because you also have, you're also fighting those people while doing that as well. And so it's sort of a race to do that. Take over six keeps before the other person does. That also added an interesting element to it. And I do like the, the, the switch up on that. As well as they've added this, you know, time-based element in terms of the moon coming down. You have 72 hours, question, um, quote unquote, to deal with the moon coming down at one, on the map, which will reset it at that point. And that's a little bit cool. I do like that new twist on the adventure map. They did twist things around in the um, Twilight Princess portion in terms of new items, but I do like the moon portion. You can find new items to extend the time. Um, so on and so forth, but let's talk about two, the two new characters. Tingle, I am not a fan of. Um, his main mechanic seems to be with his balloon and touching an enemy. Like, it seems to basically go off when it hits, you know, somebody around him at that point, which, I don't know, it, it, it his play style was too quirky for me. Um, not straight up and not, it was hard to get a, a handle of him. His specials, you know, okay, they were effective, but he was just too quirky of a character. Even Agatha, with you know some of the, the limitations of her, she was you know she was still an all right character. She didn't have the the, the hit, hard pit, hard hitting hard hitting power of you know some of the other characters. But she was usable at that point. I feel like Tingle is sort of a joke character that was put in just for the reason of oh it's Tingle. But I'm actually a lot more interested in, in the inclusion of Young Link because he actually adds a very different mechanic. Um, he is really focused on going into his fierce deity mode. Um, so regular Young Link doesn't seem to be that powerful. He's got some good attacks. He's got some, you know, damage reducing attacks. But one of his special abilities is the ability to gain magic via his Ocarina. Um, if you do sort of like Sheik's ability with, her, with, their, with the X attack, if you use Link's, Young Link's X attack in terms of, you know, playing it and are able to play it all the way through, you actually get like 70% of your magic. And that's huge because in his Magic Fierce Deity form, his, you know, special form, he does a hell of a lot more damage. And he is able to literally just, you know, deal damage, deal damage, deal damage, deal damage all across the board at that point. And I really do think that is a really powerful um, technique that we haven't really seen at this point. We've seen characters who, you know, like to use the special more than anything else and maybe 
did like to use the magic form, but I don't think there was a dependence on the magic form like we've seen with Young Link. And I do like that switch up. It does change up your gameplay in terms of, okay, I, I need to get that magic. I need to get that magic. Let me, you know, settle down for a little bit. Now, I could see how that may be a problem for some people because in order to, you know, cast that magic spell, for example, uh, for the Ocarina, and eh, yeah, you gotta sort of, you know, back off a little bit, but you could still deal a lot of damage with Young Link with just um, hack, hack and slashing away. So, I don't see that to be much of a problem there. Um, but other than that, again, the Venture Mode is where I think this DLC has shown its worth in terms of my first couple hours with it. Um, I do think that the switch up with, especially, I thought that the game didn't take apart the three-player mechanic as much as it should have before. Um, usually you were one-on-one -on -one with somebody, and this time you're sort of one-on-one-on-one, -on -one -on -one. like you, there'll be another team that you have to deal with, but you're sort of all fighting each other at that point. It's not like a two-on-one situation, and the, even with that said, the one-on-one-on-one, -on -one, -on -one, one of those teams are sort of out of it at that point, but they're just sort of there for um, the purposes of getting beaten on by the other two teams but they'll still put up resistance. So I did like that twist up a little bit. It did sort of like, okay, do I you know, cut off the yellow guys from doing something or do I go directly at my objective? Um, and one of the big things I think in this portion is it's difficult. I mean, even with my level 100 link, I was having trouble in certain sections to the point of, you know, oh God, I actually have to really, you know, focus on what's going on and paying attention to what's going on. And not to say that it's overly hard either. It's Definitely more attention has to pay, be paid to little details on the map. Um, I do I do think that it is a good element there where it's just like, if you don't pay attention to what the other team's doing, you're going to have some problems because you're going to have, you know, all of a sudden you're, you've got five bases and they've got, you know, five bases and they got, they're one away from winning. So I do like how they've changed things up. Um, and I do think that it's a good purchase if you haven't gotten it already, if you want more content from Hyrule Warriors. So that's all I have to really say on this one. Um, pretty straightforward at this point. If you are a Hyrule Warriors fan and if you were wondering if the Majora's Mask pack is worth it, I would say yes. I definitely would say that it's worth your time at this point. Alright, this is Dragnik signing out. Um, I know this is a short video today. I am actually sort of feeling under the I don't want to say under weather, but I'm just feeling a little bit down at this point. Um, so, it's a little short video, a little bit different content from the channel. So, um, I'll see you later. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have a chance, leave some feedback and comments below. If you like the video, hit that like button. And if you want more content like this, hit that subscribe button. This is Dragnik signing off, hoping that gaming brings as much fun to you as it does for me.